Views expressed on the following show are for entertainment purposes only. They're not necessarily the views of Twin Galaxies, HD Films, or any other affiliates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Settle It on the Screen for September 18th. Thanks, Nick. You didn't have to say it quiet. Right? Oh, yeah. I'm right here. Sorry. 2015, I'm Michael Soka. We're back along here with Nick Houselander. What's up? Twin Galaxies Live 3, and uh, who did a great job last week in Twin Galaxies Live 4 is Don Atreides. How are you, Don? Great show Very last good. week, by the way. Thank Very you. Very awesome. Uh, Settle on Screen is the show to en inform and entertain you about the world of competitive video gaming, uh, the world record chasing at TwinGalaxies.com, a few tournaments here and there, and all that good information. Um, so we're back. We'll talk about we weren't here. Me and Nick, we finally competed. It's my first show in a month. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, you've been back. For it's a month. been yeah. a while. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about. Oh, you're here, so I guess we can talk about the NHL '94 yeah. tournament. We'll do that briefly. Oh boy. Um, we'll briefly, briefly, briefly talk about the news from yesterday of Donkey Kong. Uh, good news, bad news, depending on who you are. And, uh, of course, we'll get to World Records. And joining us today in Twin Galaxies Live 2, I don't know if we'll see him or not because he's on an awesome Macintosh. And, like I said, we wish we broadcast on a Mac. But uh, Jesse could. Porter from the uh, center of the universe gaming universe, Roscoe, Texas. All right. Yeah, yeah baby. That. He's in Twin Galaxies Live 2. We'll talk to him about his experience with Twin Galaxies, uh, a lot of his uh, records he's been setting since the new era of Twin Galaxies yeah. has come back. And we'll ask him about Roscoe. You yeah, know? we'll talk about that. We'll talk about... about yeah, I want, I want to know what's in the water down there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what's, what's going on down there? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get to the usuals, I guess. World records for the week of September 18th, 2016. Uh, I, I got the first one here. Uh, Guitar Hero World Tour, Linkin Park. What have I done? 226,952,000 th points. I'm sorry, 226,952 points from Scott Simpsons uh, from California. 100% score nice. on this. We'll see if he does it on the other systems. Great job. It's nice going, Scott. Yep. And go ahead, Glenn. We got Connor Smith on the PlayStation for Um Jammer Lammy. Stage two, Chief Puddle. Lammy, normal difficulty. 32,767 points. That's a fun game, too. I don't know what... Fun. I think I prefer that over Parappa the Rapper. You guys can uh, crucify me now, but I like that game better. No, I have, we, you would have to talk to our buddy Ed. Yeah, he, was a, he loved Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, so you guys would have a great... You guys get along. Yeah. You, know, you guys would be best friends if you came to the VGC. October 16th. Yeah, you know. definitely. <laughs> we got Graham Hawkins from New Zealand. Mame and Ninja Spirits. Point six hundred and seventeen thousand three hundred for Graham Hawkins from New Zealand. Very cool game. That's actually one I watched. And Graham is actually a very long-time closet fan of our show. Whoa. We have closeted our show. fans of our yeah, show? Yeah. I had no idea, I man. I didn't know that either. We got people what? who watch the show I've never even heard of. Cool. So. That's wow. awesome. Thanks for watching the show, Graham, and nice job on your new world record. Yeah, it's great, man. Thanks for watching. We All got right, Mike. we have How's Matthew Felix huh? from California on the Nintendo Wii Where at Where, Gradius Rebirth, uh, 139,730 points. Awesome. Mr. Felix. Uh, new inaugural track. Uh, You may need to mute there, Joe. Uh, two players track, 65 points from uh, Mike Gensenko uh, and Ron Toth, Florida, I believe. Now, new track, so hopefully there's some more competition. And yes, that, that, that's not green there. Again, picture with them. So. Oh, no kidding. There. Sweet. Yeah. I haven't seen Tom Green in a while. So we'll see if there's any more submissions for Freeway 2 player simultaneously. <laughs> We have Daniel Rodriguez on MAME, Cruising USA, Revision L4.1, Arizona, fastest race, 1 minute 32 seconds. Awesome. Very, my favorite arcade game. Not 
favorite of all time, my favorite driving yeah. arcade game. What's better, USA or World? Not nah, USA is better. USA is yeah. way better. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have yeah. a love-hate relationship with that game. I like it, but the, the bar in town here replaced the Bosconian with a cruise in USA, and I was so sad that day. That is a sad day. Yeah, that's a bummer. I mean, they, they replaced a game that, like, 20 people had heard of with the game that everyone on the planet had heard of. So, I mean, yeah. It was a hard decision for the bar. Yeah, and, um, like, two nights before that, I had, like, because I was playing marathon settings, and I got to, like, 900,000-something. And I'm like, oh, the next game I play, I'm going to get a million. And then I came in, like, two days later, and it was gone. That does. That sucks. Uh, let's see. We got Mark Cohen from Las Vegas, Nevada. PlayStation 3, Grand Theft Auto 5. Off-road races like Side Splash. As I say, that's one minute. One 17. minute, yeah. Dang, one minute, 17.63 seconds. Very cool time. So I'm hoping more people play that. I was actually thinking about challenging Mark here, but we got Grand Theft Auto 5 in the database, which nice. is awesome. And go ahead, Glenn, for our last one for the week. We have John Brissy from my home state of Wisconsin, Sega Master System, California Game Surfing, 5.8, the judges ruled. <laughs> Very nice. kind judges. Yes, they were. So let's just select a few world records for the past yeah. week here at the Twin Galaxies database. For, for all of them, you can go to the adjudication archive on the website, and, of course, you can browse the site for your favorite video game or one you think you're at least good at, see where you rank. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice. Um, uh, something was on my mind and I already Can forgot I it. Before? No, not no. yet. Um, well, we'll get about to that in a second. Um, oh no. Speaking of adjudication. Okay. I, I'm not sure if it was this past week or the week prior. Um, my mind's a little fuzzy when I was looking through the adjudication archive. There has been over twenty thousand accepted scores into the database this year alone since jace hall has got twin galaxies wow. running up wow. twenty thousand adjudicated score or that's accepted scores. yeah 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 there's that's still not... rejected scores involved i think it's only maybe like 400 500 but that's still still though. congrats yeah that's to the system i think it's working for everybody yeah um that's awesome 20 it's ridiculous. Twenty thousand. I don't think that's ever happened. I don't even think a thousand's been adjudicated in here. It's just it's bizarre, bizarre to me. Um, so we'll, we'll 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 poke at Jace next week during State of the Galaxies about that. I'm um, just looking at the chat real quick before I get to the next subject. We did see the twenty million score on Galaga or Galaga, whichever way you like to pronounce it. It's not a world record yet. We will definitely talk about it. It's on our list. So things that we'll talk about that aren't world records, yes. we'll just briefly talk about what happened last night. Um, last night, uh, I can't speak. Um, who was first? West Copeland. West Copeland played yep. Donkey Kong last night. I'm assuming there's a Don Kong, Don Kong, Donkey Kong Open thing. There's always a Donkey Kong Open or something. I don't know. It's a daily thing. Yeah, like I burn cabinets daily in my backyard. Yep. Um, so West Copeland got a new, well, it's not verified world record, but a possible, possible 1,170,500 yeah. points. Yep. Yeah, yeah, 500 points. That was last night. Then two hours later, Robbie Lakeman S jumped on his Donkey Kong machine and 1,172,100 points. Nice. Still not beating Steve Sanders' score of 3.1 million um, I thought it was 3.2. No, it's 3.1. Is it 1? We, we need 3.2. Oh. I want 3.2. Oh, 2. yeah, we want 3.2. Yeah. That's right. So yeah, they're, getting, they're getting closer. Yeah. Now, is this a media stunt coming up for the Twin Galaxies Festival? Well, now we'll plug that as well. Wes and uh, Robbie Lake we will be playing head-to-head -head <laughs> at the Twin Galaxies Festival. So now they're number one and two, and number one and number two will be playing live in front of everybody on new ROM sets where the game does not kill screen. Uh, oh, so okay, okay. Well, we should see a 3.2 million will, score, then. and then, then I might get excited. Yeah, definitely. but uh, to be all honest, send me your Donkey Kong motherboards, and I will smash them to pieces. Yeah. I hate Donkey Kong. Let's play some Donkey Kong Junior, everybody. Or Donkey Just Kong. Just a service he provides. 
Yeah, well, that's the service I provide. It's free. I actually pay for the shipping for you to ship it to my home. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's just it's, it's something that, you know... And it's free for me to watch him destroy yeah, the exactly. motherboards. Yeah. I mean, it really is fun. Yeah, we should make it destroy it on the screen maybe every other week or something yeah. like that, and just a new show. The sledge but, is more fun to watch, but I feel like the burning, when you burn them, it's more cruel. It's more satisfying. Yeah, it, oh, no, there's, I know I've seen the look on your face. It's definitely more So satisfying. congrats to them, too, if... They are world records. They still have to be verified by mm -hmm. Twin Galaxy. So it'll be exciting to see them. That's very and then cool. that's where we'll segue real briefly. Um, real quick, Wrong though, one, thing to, one thing to note about Wes's game is he's the first person ever to get 1.1 million on, their, on his first man. And he got to the last barrel <laughs> screen with all of his men in reserve. That's so. pretty impressive. That's, that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. And then... They'll be at the Twin Galaxies Fe Entertainment Festival, October 2nd through 1st, at the Museum of Pinball in Banning, California. It's only it's 13 days away, 14 days away. Wow. I think the, I think the timer's off. 12 days, 22 what hours. What the heck? Should it be 13 days? I don't know. No, it's Friday. It's, it's Friday morning. That's right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little... A little tired from last weekend. We'll get to that. <laughs> so there's going to be lots of gaming competitions. The prizes have been announced for the NES and television, Atari, and Arcade. Uh, the Cathlons, $2,500 for the, the grand prize winner of each. So over $10,000 will be awarded in prizes. There's Mortal Kombat tournament on Sunday. And like I said, more important, there's pinball galore. Yeah, Who wants to play really. video games at the Museum of Pinball? Go there, be there. Walter's there. I'm there. Day Who boom. cares about that? Donna Trades will be there. Turn your video off. Right? DA is going to be there. Be there. With and, Joe, and Joe and Twin Galaxies Live 5 will be there. So it's going to be Data God's going to be there. And more Dang. importantly, you're going to be there. <laughs> I think you're going to be like, I'm going to be <laughs> No, there. Nick's not. I'm not going to be there. Mike is going to yeah. be there. So. It's going to be a lot of fun. And next week, we'll have Joe on our show as our guest. I'm glad he joined us this week. I hope we didn't have a miscommunication, but we'll be talking about all what's going to happen next week. We'll talk about who's going to win, who's the favorite on this one. Do we like the contest? Maybe we'll get Todd Rogers to call in if uh, we're trying to get him to call in to get his little insight beforehand. It's going to be a lot of fun. Book your tickets at TwinGalaxiesFestival.com. If you haven't booked your airfare, you better hurry up. It's get expensive. Yeah. Oh, it's already expensive. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you can room with me one night. I'm only staying one night. Sleeping oh, yeah? in the car. Oh. I'm going to yeah. sleep in. I'm actually going to sleep inside the museum of pinball one night. Yeah. Do you, they, won't, they won't. They won't. They won't notice me. Yeah. Either. So. So, Mike, the real question is though, before we talk about anything else, how badly are you going to beat everyone in the Intellivision tournament? Yeah. Are you you gave it, it away. Are you going to make it close? Um, Are you going to bomb a couple games on purpose? You know, kind we'll of just say people we'll in. just say this. There is one or two games in the pinball tournament that I don't like. Now, they may change them, what Jace did say. Oh, yeah. One of them can... I think that's the best You can just blow everybody away, or you can just get your... You can just get totally demolished. So I'm not giving any predictions that I'm going to win, because this one game can make or break you. Really? And it's one of those games that... There's too much luck involved. There's way too much luck involved. And if it's only one game, your game could be over within less than a minute. Sweet. And there's only three minutes. So you got to be. So I'm expecting fun. if you're going to win this contest, you got to play the full three minutes. Okay. Right? I mean, all right. the other Intellivision games I can play for hours. But we'll see. We'll talk about all that good stuff next week. Um, before we get to our guest, Jesse is patiently waiting. We're still going quite a bit long. We'll talk about our journey last week at the NHL 94. Uh, tournament very fun oh, yeah. playing one video game for 12 13 14 hours a day as i didn't have to do it because i lost unfortunately but uh, no, you didn't really lose shy. you didn't yeah, lose Nickel? you made it top 16 right yeah i made the top 16 yeah, was yeah. This yeah. Not like, losing? how many yeah, games did you play like i 12? played 12 no i played 13 games yeah, yeah. it's pretty good yeah. i played four i won one of them <laughs> hey all right <laughs> That's which is all I wanted out of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, the competition. I have major downsides to my NHL 94 game. If I'm the home team and I'm the wings, I stand by the fact that I can beat anybody. But if I'm not, an amateur can beat me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's If I'm the away team, I might basically have no shot of winning. Yeah. So. Uh, Ninja, there's 128 uh, entrants. That, that was, It was a full-packed house. It was. It was yeah. packed. 128. 
It was very. Were they ready? Eight in the morning. Eight in the morning, and I just got a one. Pretty good. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm 15. Oh, here's the bad part. I guess here's a little give me. And, and Mike lost his last two out of three games. He lost three to two. Yeah, I lost one by one goal. Overtime, over. Yeah, I lost by. They every were very game. close. But game. that doesn't mean anything. I no, it lost. doesn't. But I mean, it's not like you got. But the your reason luck. I was that's ranked 12 percent. Yeah. Yeah, that's there, There's a chance I could be ranked 16th. But or here's 13th. the thing. <laughs> right. or, well, no, 15th or I'm 15th because you lost all three. no. Oh. Because the guy who qualified for the Sweet 16. Yeah. He played in the morning. He didn't show up. Oh, were you serious? Yeah, so I didn't have to play. 15th versus 16 didn't play. So, oh, no kidding. I mean, I was I in the losers, losers, losers bracket yeah, of the yeah, final yeah. 16, but people oh. got to buy in the final tournaments. You should have played. You should have got promoted. I, w- I didn't even – I was there the whole time, people. I did not know. This is the was, first time hearing So it was kind of weird that this guy played in the morning. Yeah, yeah. He advanced to the final 16, and then he didn't show up. So hopefully nothing terrible yeah, happened Yeah, obviously. Yes. That's a bummer. There were so yeah. many people there that weren't in it anymore, and everyone, a lot of people stayed. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. we were on the. I was doing the broadcast from the uh, from our channel. From our yeah. channel, actually. So if you did hear somebody uh, that sounded like me, that's because that was me. On the settle on the screen. Um, channel. Settle on the screen channel. Mike was on it periodically, but he was still in the tournament. So, um, but yeah, it was a great tournament. I mean, Toronto. If you've never been there, uh, this is the first time I've ever been there before. Great city. Mm-hmm. Um, it felt like fall. All of a sudden, when we were there, but very cool, very cool tournament. And Mikey did an incredible job. Uh, it was really, it was very well run. Oh yeah, it was, it was great. One of the most, and yeah. probably for like polite wise and people getting along, hands down, the most polite video game tournament I have ever yeah, been. No, to nobody life. was threatening to burn any no. NHL '94 cartridges or anything. Like no, that. no. <laughs> Mainly, it's, maybe it's because we didn't act like us. Yeah, that's probably because so. yeah. we're actually competing. We're not observing like we do yeah. with everything else. Um, so the guy on Twin Galaxies, which many, many of you know, we'll, we'll try to get through this a little bit quicker. Um, uh, Ra- oh, cool. Raphael Friedman, the, um, he place. he came in second place oh. in, my, in the Genesis side of it. Uh, he did not win, so I'm just gonna ring off KG man. Congratulations yeah. to you. I didn't, awesome. I did, uh, I didn't get to play you, but it was fun watching you. And I didn't get to play Raph either. I did get to play a lot of people higher up in the, you know, in the tournament. Yep. Um, but uh, I liked everybody there except one guy. One no, there's guy only went, one guy. One guy wouldn't shake my hand. What's his yeah. name, Nick? No, no. <laughs> Two guys. Yeah, so congratulations, <laughs> KG man. Um, actually, the winner, the overall winner of the SNES was a non-NHL94.com player. Most of the players there, there's a community called that NHL94.com where people play each other online every night, 50, 60 games a season. And it's ridiculous. I don't, I mean, it's cool, but yeah, it's too it's, much for me. Um, I don't like an NHL94. The SNES, uh, Mikhail, Mikhail F won. We don't have full <laughs> names here. And basically, the SNES guy played the uh, Genesis guy for the final. Who's the king? Who did win? I actually did not hear. We're not going to tell you. Oh, okay. Because we want you to definitely check it out. Pixelated Heroes. It's the documentary about it. We don't get anything for, for what do you call it? Promoting it. We're probably might be in it. We might be in it. You never know. We might get the red tape. But yeah. we're excited because we didn't see the final either. I know. There's I got two. invited to watch it, and I turned it down. I feel yeah. like an asshole. But <laughs> we get we get some anticipation in watching the film at yeah. that point. So actually, we'll talk about it when it comes out. Probably won't come out to next year. So we pretty much promise from here on out the NHL 94 talk is done until the movie comes out. So yeah. it's over, everybody. Yay! Yeah. Now, I mean, we were considering next week having an NHL 93 tournament, though. Okay. Because, I mean, <laughs> what's better than NHL 94? NHL, NHL PA 93. Uh, in know. your opinion. So. Yeah, definitely. I got a, I, I got a question. What platform did they play the finals on? The way the finals worked, not to spoil it for the people in the movie, they, they had played, a boxing match. Yes, yeah. They played a completely. They played Madden '97. Yes. Uh, yeah. um, they play one game on Genesis, one game on Super NES. Then who has the most goals combined between the two games it's gets the, the home field advantage at that point. Okay. So, uh, very. Uh, it'll be exciting to watch the movie. It'll, it'll actually, oh, give yeah. us another reason to want to see it because we didn't see the direct finals there's way too many people and they didn't even have it there right 
No, it was back at their. Uh, they we I actually think it was back at they, Mikey's were, hotel they ran out of time actually at the location for the final final match. So it was we were going to broadcast the final match. Yeah, but we were. I was helping. I, I was ripping systems out of the wall. They like, wanted us to get that just like out the, of there. Like the first time there's a tournament and everything, there's always got to iron out some details, and that was the only thing. But I always take longer. Like I said, the best part is, well, I get to watch it for the first time. Oh, on the definitely. Movie, so. Cool. Awesome. That was fun. Yeah, it was good. good um, so, somebody who's been submitting lots of world records in Twin Galaxies has come back in Twin Galaxies Live too. Uh, let's welcome Jesse uh, Porter to the show. How you doing, Jesse? So good. Yep. Hey, how you doing? How's Texas doing? It's uh, dead. It's dead. <laughs> all, all you guys are doing is just breaking world records in Roscoe. Right. Yeah, that's pretty much. We, that's all we do. That's all you do? Okay. Cool. Do we say it right? Is it Roscoe? Are we pronouncing it right? Uh, yeah. Should... Roscoe. <laughs> yeah, man. thank you. Yes, okay. I figured that's how you were supposed to say it. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, I just have do some normal questions I like to ask everybody. Um, <laughs> how did you find Twin Galaxies? What was, like, your first experience? Was it the King of Kong? Was it something different? Uh, it, it was uh, actually I found the, the uh, book, the Guinness um, and Hastings, the Guinness Gamers. Oh, the Gamers and, uh, Edition? Yeah. And uh, we were just looking through it, and that's pretty much how it started. That's very cool. That's, that's, that's awesome. That's a new yeah, perspective. Actually, that's, it is. Uh, you know, that's, uh, Usually it's the other way around. Yeah, because I found out Twin Galaxies beforehand, 2004, just because I was... I wasn't using Google. I was using Yahoo search engine at the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. It's like, what's the video game world record on? It might have been NHL 94. Ha <laughs> ha. I started talking about it. <laughs> I might have been. I think I it, was, it was Sonic It was probably Spinball. Sonic Spinball. Yeah. But I was like, it wasn't no King of Kong. I'm actually like proud of saying that once in a while. But that's oh, cool. Oh, no, definitely. That's very cool. What, what book what was the first book that you saw? It was the very first issue. Oh, 2010, I believe? I can't remember. I know okay. it was the first one, though. Okay. Um, out of all the records you submitted the past, uh, I guess, nine months now, it's been nine yeah. or eight months, yeah, like, is, is there a favorite score of yours that people should check out that you're, like, most proud of? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, like, I had fun breaking the Revenge of Shinobi record. It's a very good game and a very good system. Oh, yeah. Right, Glenn? Great system. My favorite system of all time, let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. I, I was, I was present, pleasantly, uh, I love seeing that uh, the Michael Jackson Moonwalker one. Just watching yeah. somebody submit the score on that game. That was, oh, yeah. That's, that, that's one of my favorite games. For, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's the price is too high. You still have never owned it, right? No, I never okay. owned it. No, I've only played it on emulation. Okay, that's a fun. That's a fun. I want the arcade machine. Actually, is I think that that'd be really expensive. Also, uh, I don't think so. Is, what's is the price differential it, worth it to buy the arcade game to just spend no, extra on the Genesis? No, oh, okay, no. there's not that many of those either. Sega. What's the Sega game? Was it cost like fifty bucks or something? The game? Uh, it, well, after he died, it's gone up. I don't okay. know. I bet it's come back down now. Since, I paid know. like seventy-five bucks for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> At a flea market. Oh, my God. Wow. I'll trade you Mutant League Hockey. I paid $45 for Did it. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And that game is not... No, I was going to say, I don't even think that's a good game. That game's no NHLPA 93. Hell no. Either. It's not that. No. It's, it's a great concept, but if they would have used the mechanics of the other games, oh, God, I would have liked it. Yeah, it's not even NHL 95. I mean... So you got lots of... It seems like you have lots of friends at your house, I'm going to say it, or your residence yeah, that seem to submit. That, that's awesome. <laughs> I, I just yeah, got to say have, that. We have 11 that has world records. That's, wow. Most world record. I bet if Jace got zip code. Yeah, no kidding. Most records for zip code, Roscoe, Texas. Yeah. Video game capital of the universe. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's... Maybe that's where the whole thing. So, be. is it you encouraging them, or you bring it to their attention, or is it just like kind of a hey, I, you're doing that? I'll do it, you know. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, 
it started with just me and Wayne Mears, and then we started getting other people. <clears throat> no, it's it's cool to know that you guys know each other. I mean, because yeah. in our heads, at least, okay, I shouldn't speak for you, but yeah, in my head, when I see three or four people all from the same city, I'm like, oh, I'm sure they're all friends. Yeah, oh, I think the same thing. So, I mean, so it's yeah. actually good to know that I'm like, oh, they actually are. It's not just, you know, like, if I saw 12 people from Los Angeles, I'd be like, well, duh, all of them know each other. Thinking about going for any, like, two players or three players or four players? Ooh, yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting on uh, them to fix that, you know, uh, uh, like, fully fix it, you know what I'm saying? Right, so you don't have to create a separate account. Yeah. Yeah. Not like me and Nick. Yeah. Nick Soroka. Yeah, Nick Soroka, <laughs> man. He's a good... He breaks a lot of world records. <laughs> Uh, I actually asked my wife if, uh, I was like, you know, they got this thing going in Roscoe, and I, there's, like, nobody around me. I live near D.C., and East Coast, there's, like, nobody here. It's all, like, Midwest, and you guys get together in Wisconsin and, and you know, uh, oh, and Roscoe. It's and it's and I live in Virginia, and there's, like, nobody here that does the high scores or anything like that. So, so I'm did like, you ask your wife to move? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, actually, point? I said, you know, we got a lot of room in the basement. We could do a Roscoe, Texas thing right here. But then oh. I realized there's like nobody, there's like nobody here. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and there, if you, is there anyone who's, this is a call out to anyone on the East Coast who can drive to Virginia, come to my house and we'll do something. I don't, I don't know what, but we'll, we'll do something. You know, honestly, I thought what you were saying is that you were going to invite everyone from Roscoe to stay with you for a <laughs> just week. Just come to my first. house. Yeah. There's not a lot of room, but just bring sleeping bags. <laughs> yes. And then... hey, actually, this brings up uh, the arcades do this. The sleeping bag thing? No, no. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they do. No, I don't I know. Could. Can you're gonna, you're gonna find we, out. We a couple get, weeks. We'll you know, those, outrun, those outrun cabinets are very comfortable. Yeah, they are. They are. Uh, <laughs> there's the Battle of the Arcades. There were um, every year Ken House and Richie Knuckles, and I think Galloping Ghost Arcades all pick their best players and they play you know at their own arcades yeah. for the weekend whoever has the best scores it's you know, kind of, wins cool. the battle of the arcades maybe we should do battle of the basements oh that'd be sweet i think that'd be pretty sweet yeah. roscoe texas obviously would be one maybe we'd have enough here in detroit <laughs> yeah, we would we could we, we could definitely have enough here the midwest iowa could have one. the whole state of iowa could be a oh team. yeah I'll, let, I'll give them a provision everyone plays and then iowa. we'll have to you know we'll just make um We'll just make Don the ref. Yeah, yeah. I can't because my team yeah, he, is me, so I, I will be the ref. I need a stripy <laughs> shirt, though. All the games will make him run the website. Yeah, he, make, he can't play. He'll you make know. him do all of that. Would you be down about that, Jesse? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Battle of the Basement, starting something new, copying off the arcade guys. Did you see Hi, Carrie. Welcome to the show. Nice seeing you. It's been a while. Hope to see you in uh, California, whatever it's called. It's Twin Galaxies. Thing. That West Coast state. Yeah, that West Coast thing. I don't know. Two weeks, right? Oh, it's it less two? than two weeks. Yes. It's less than two weeks. Oh, my God. I'm so tired. Oh, well. Are, are you coming, Jesse, by chance to the uh, Twin Galaxies Festival or no? Yep. I just purchased my ticket oh. today. So. Oh, All right. That is not what I thought you were going to say. Oh, okay. Excellent. Cool. We weren't sure. Oh, That's cool. Sweet. Well, great. Well, definitely, if you can come into next show, are you planning on competing in any of the tournaments? All of them or just a few of them? Just, just the NES. Oh. Just the NES. Cool. Yeah. Oh, Don, Jesse, Rudy, Joe. See, I know you're there in Twin Galaxies Live 5. Which ones are you competing in? So I'm not going to lie. I said, I was telling everyone, I'm sorry, I broke in there. I was telling everyone, you know, there's a couple people. I'm afraid of coming to the tournament. Obviously, Joe and Rudy on top of top of the list of competitors. Uh, but I said, you know, if Jesse Porter shows up, that could be trouble because he's not an NES guy, but he is a very good player. And the other guy I thought was uh, Tom uh, Vadova. I said, you know, Tom Vadova, obviously. I'm doing Nintendo player. and then television. Uh -oh. My money's on, on Don. Oh. Good uh, man. Money's on Don. <laughs> I was playing Just television, that's right. Nice. Got somebody who's actually saying the thing in television. I was going to say, I thought it was just going to be you. I really did, yeah. Me sitting there <laughs> playing Todd Rogers in television. Yep. Great, he'll win. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, we'll fight for a second. Right, Joe? That'd be sweet. Sweet. Cool. Um, 
Mm, there's my list of questions. I had a few more. You guys have any questions for Jesse? I had another list here. Yeah, uh, uh, Jesse, what um, what games are you planning on going for recently? Are you going to stay on the Super on the Sega Genesis, or I know you've done um, other stuff, but what's your focus I'll, going forward for records? I really want to do the Super C points record. Ah. But I can't. I can't. I gotta. I gotta figure out how to record it because it's going to take me like twenty hours. Oh you know wow! I mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's a. I don't know. Anyone have any suggestions for that? 20 hours. Now, how I do it was I have a camera, but it feeds straight to my computer, and then I just record it to my hard drive. So I have, like, infinite space, effectively. Um, but if you don't have that set up, uh, which is a little complicated, what do you guys do? Uh, what I for... normally do is I have dual VCRs loop through mm -hmm. each other, and then you just start one. Yeah, or but that's a pain in the butt, man. Well, I, I did 23 hours, for 20 doing hours that. is pain in the butt, in my opinion, but that's just me. Because you have to, you have to have a timer going so you make sure that your tape don't run out and everything. I had to do that for like 24 hours one time in a record run for old TG. A Life Force. No, Legendary Wings, which I haven't posted uh, because I have it on my Twitch, but it's in like five or seven parts. Ah. Uh, oh God. That's the thing about but those yeah. records. It takes a lot of I work had, to get them. Yep, Not I had two VCRs going. I had, I think I went through like eight tapes, huh. and I had to sit there and like time it. Like every so many hours, I'd switch the tape, and it's a pain in the butt. It is a pain in the butt, but that's why you have friends there to like support you and talk to you during. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. the way I look at, like, I want and make fun of you. Most importantly. more importantly, make like make fun of you. Uh, a few. I don't know if any of you me on the forums have seen me and Mark Cohen talk about it. I, what I've wanted to do for years. I'm talking about this for like seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. Is you know, there's all these marathons for arcade machines, and now some NES games. I want to do the actual 24-hour race of Le Mans. You've been talking about time. that longer than eight years. Well, I think it's only been in a video game for eight years. Uh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit longer. The Dreamcast was out in 2000. Yeah, so I was going to say, I've been, talking about, we like this, I've been talking about this for 15 yeah. years. Um, I didn't break it. Oh, I know. No, it's one just a new one. Ah, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, Madden. It just totally screwed me. I want to try. I want to get a team of three or four players, like the real Le Mans. You don't pause. You can switch drivers when you pit. Yeah. And who can get the most laps as a record? And hopefully other teams. But when I want to do that, I want to do that with friends, so I have people to talk to. Oh God! Oh, doing it by yourself kind of would stuff. be awful. Wow. Well, I mean, the, yeah. the Le Mans one. Oh yeah. Because it's like. <laughs> Turn. Turn. Yeah, I know. But that's cool. Um, anything we should expect from your friends there that they're working on, maybe, for some new world records? Uh, yeah, um, Wayne's dad, uh, once he gets out of prison, he's going to uh, put down, like, maybe, like, seven records. And then uh, I got another friend that's going to put one down, so, yeah. That's, I think Roscoe, Roscoe Texas alone is going to keep the queue filled up. Not that that's a problem, but, you know, if it was a problem... Not a problem. They'll, they'll, have their own, they'll have their own, you know, how now you can sort by system when you adjudicate. It, you know, sort, sort by location. By, sort by zip code. And they'll <laughs> right. have That's awesome. Um, so, yeah. Jesse, so we got to ask the, the basic questions, too. Favorite yeah. video game of all time? I, I, I really like the Tomb Raider series. Uh, oh, yeah, I would guess that. Like... I can play that, and it just makes me feel good the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. okay, what, what's your What's your favorite soup? <laughs> what? Um, I don't eat. I don't eat soup. What? I don't know, man. What's the best soup you ever had? The The best soup? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's hard hitting questions coming in. Walter Day's going to get you to eat some soup. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Nick's preparing you for, because you've never met Walter Day. No, right? he will make you eat soup. It's what he does. <laughs> he makes good soup. I mean, it's worth eating a oh, soup. It's very good soup. It's, I don't like soup either, but I eat Walter's. It's awesome. It's awesome, man. So what's your Walter's favorite? a vegetarian, what's right? Snack? Yeah, Walter's hardcore vegetarian. I had dinner See, with I him once, and he's like, you're, he sat there, and he's like, I had... 
a huge hot beef like plate and he's like just staring at me and he's like you know that's really unhealthy for you i'm like yeah i know but it tastes good yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, never... he's, he's eaten them before right you guys know that right? yeah he's you can always there, it's on it's in got, one of the documentaries we got video proof actually we have our own proof too, yeah, yeah. he's eating meat oh yeah uh, he's not when he's hungry i guess, I guess i'm just gonna eat some soup and meditate yeah, that's right. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Are you excited about meeting him? Have you met any of the characters from King of Comedy or anything? No, uh, I'm a little nervous, to be honest. Cool. Uh, meeting them, you mean? Yeah. Because I don't really know them, you know? Well, that's how oh, you look. That's how you look. Meet them. Right. They're fine. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, we were nervous when we went to go visit Walter at his home for our very first time when we interviewed him. Oh, yeah, we were nervous, but then two seconds later... No, it's, it's awesome. It's, no, it is. Yeah, I'm cool. excited for you. I'm excited. For, uh, I like that. No, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. It's cool you're nervous, too, actually. Yeah. And then eventually, <laughs> like, hey, Walter. You know, he sent oh, an yeah. email, and he'll call you on your phone at midnight, and you'll be like, okay, Walter. Not just that. You create a nickname for him <laughs> and refer to him as that. And, and, he, and he answers to and it. And he answers to it, which is God bless him, you know. Yeah, so. No, but Jesse, seriously, what's your favorite Echo the Dolphin game? <laughs> the, the original. Oh, okay. Good answer. Good, good, good answer. answer. So Nick brought me. Give, give me. I guess we would be. Your, we've talked about your favorite video game, but board game. What a difference. That's some people want to know. Hilarious. Okay, I'm just saying that's the one. I um, I guess your favorite system. You've submitted a lot of records. I guess what is your? Do you have a favorite system? One system only. Sega, for sure. Genesis. Genesis. Genesis yeah. Genesis. That's great. That was the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> the right or wrong? It, no, it depends on who you ask. See, th I think the only problem with the Genesis is that it's not the Super Nintendo. Yeah, uh -huh. there you go, Don. Uh -huh. Get him. Right. I'm with you. I'm with you, Glenn. We got it. We got it. Well, what, what does Joe have to say here? I'm assuming he's an NES guy because then we're just tied right now. I, I'm going to say NES guy for Joe. So okay, here you go. You're muted. He said, I heard him say Genesis, yeah. It was Genesis. No, it looked like he was lipping uh, Nintendo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said Nintendo. Uh, I thought I saw him lip something about Golden Axe, and I mean, everyone knows that those games only came <laughs> the, the better system, so. I still can't I hear you, Joe. We're going to assume that you're saying Genesis, Don and thanks. Nintendo are both awesome. <laughs> Next uh, question. Three to three. <laughs> they are both awesome. They're both great systems. Why does the DK high score holder get no fame? Oh, we will. Trust me. We've talked about it earlier in the show, thanks to the people in the chat. Um, the Dino that, Kong? No, that's Donkey Kong. Oh, Donkey Kong. When oh. the world records verify, we'll be talking about it. Tune in, especially in two weeks, when Wes Copeland and uh, Robbie Lakeman will be competing. Yeah. Uh, you want Donkey Kong, you're going to get a whole weekend's worth of it. So yep. tune in in two weeks. You should have been here a month ago watching the Kong off four. Yep. You know what? If, this isn't if, this is called settle on the screen. This isn't called Donkey Kong everything. Sorry. <laughs> but congratulations to them. No, that's a great Thanks for your questions and thanks for tuning into the show. Definitely. So it's, actually I guess don't you actually have a Donkey Kong machine, right, Jesse? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh. As much as I don't want to talk about it anymore, what's your highest score on Donkey Kong? Uh, like 90,000 or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. Spend his <laughs> have you, do you have any plans of getting rid of it anytime soon? Mike's, yeah. Michael gladly taking it. Do you really it need it? <laughs> do you really need it? <laughs> I, 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 got it. I, I, it I saved it out of a burning building. So I'm going to keep it. You're going to keep it? Okay. That's good. Let me know if you need to get rid of it. Yeah. I can take a flight, man. I, there's a lot of work there, you know. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Dehumanization, yes. Mm. Dean Sagulo does have the highest score of King of Kong, but that's on MAME. And you guys yeah, I'm told, decide. I'm, which is yeah, better. I'm told there are things you could do in MAME that you can't do in the arcade. I don't know the truth of that, but that's what I'm told. I don't know. Well, I, there are two I'm, separate categories at that point. I you know. don't know. Donkey Kong, yeah. right? Yeah, because it, talking, uh, you can... Uh, what? <laughs> go ahead, no, go ahead, Glenn. Go ahead, I'm sorry. It was, I was going to really... say, like, on MAME, you can um, 
I don't know how to really explain it. The directionals, like when you're going up a ladder, you can hold right while you're going up the ladder. Whereas you oh, can't yeah. do that on a joystick. So you can steer barrels easier going up ladders and stuff. Right. That makes sense. Well, like, you can get the invincibility star in the main one too, right? Where you, just, like, <laughs> yeah. you get and the actually, mushroom and then you get bigger. And then you, you can punch Doc on the face. Oh, yeah. There's an echo yeah. Easter egg. And uh, he gets the... He can fly, but it's very rare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have any other arcade games, Jesse? Sorry. Uh, Final Fight, probably. Oh, Sweet. Cool. Like, That's a good one. Like, yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. And if you guys want to see Jesse's video, it's normally. I don't know if there's a link to it. No, there's no link. It happens. Watch the Toy and Galaxies channel here. You'll 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 see Jesse's player profile cool. uh, in the rotation along with some other fellow game submitters at, at that point. So very cool. Um, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, do you consider yourself more of a console gamer or an arcade gamer? Oh, he's console. Oh, console for sure. Sorry. Oh yeah. Come on, we're asking questions here. <laughs> So I'm I know that. I know. <laughs> Come on, Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I'm off, man. I'm so tired from last week. Just so I mean. Just have a good, you know what? Donna <laughs> Trades shows you. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, let's just say, flash forward two months to be like, hey, Donna, uh, send on the screen. Yeah, we're just thinking of giving new hosts, you know, just spicing it up a little bit. <laughs> what about you and Jesse? Uh, what the heck? <laughs> I think, yeah. I, uh, no, no, I mean, not obviously. <laughs> Yeah. But I think having having uh, all these people on is is awesome. Uh, oh yeah! People have been talking about the idea of getting Patrick Scott Patterson and Rudy Freddy both to to literally settle it on the screen, play some game, and then we just I think that would be like fight of the century. Well, can we do like uh, a CNN debate with those two? Talk about like you know 98th ranked versus 99th ranked. I mean, not that. Yeah. Well, it's still though. <laughs> just the, the, I'm, the, I'm kidding. The Rudy. political tension alone would be. No, that's what I mean. I want, I want, I want those two. And can I be the moderator in the debate? You should. It's be. like that the presidential be debate. It's the, the same. Because well, I don't care either way. I yeah. like both. Of them, so. It's like Trump versus Rosie O'Donnell, and you can pick whichever one you want to be either one, whatever. But you know, it has nothing to do with video games. Of course, right, yeah, won't. really. I don't have anything to do with video games. <laughs> now I do have a question here. This is it's jokey, but it's. <laughs> It's mild, serious. Only to me. I'm the only person who cares about this. Now, when it comes to Donkey Kong, is is the Atari version like the pariah of the series? You mean for consoles? For just of like any version ever of Donkey Kong that was ever created, is there anyone competing on the Atari version? I think so. Is there? Uh, Maybe on Retro Uprising. Yeah, maybe that's right. In television, there has been. Is there? Okay. In that version. No, I know. It's, I remember the Atari version's pretty wonderful, too. But. It was very prolific. Uh, I remember the first game I ever saw on the Atari 2600, and the first time I ever saw Donkey Kong was Donkey Kong, obviously. Um, so it's, uh, like, it's like permanently itched in my brain now. No, so maybe that's why I think Atari Donkey Kong, but... Do you still like that version? I mean, do you like play that still or no? Not really. I, to be honest, I grew up and I had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred, but I don't, I don't think I played it that much. I didn't have a lot of games um, for it. And when the Nintendo came out, the Atari no longer existed effectively, yeah. right? I still had it, but it might as well have been, you know, uh, non-existent. So I don't know. I remember. Oh. Or, I remember when the Nintendo first came out, and you see like Donkey Kong Mario on the Atari, and then like yeah. su like Super Mario Brothers Mario, and I'm like, you can see his nose. He's got a no like I was that blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> graphics. The graphics were just so fantastic. So uh, I got sucked into that. All right, all right. Take bets real quick. We only got 15 minutes left here in the show, or 10 minutes. Who's gonna win this? The Buccaneers. Or the Patriots. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, we'll, we'll find I, one of them's up by 10. Patriots My, are up by 10. Hmm. Any takers? Patriots. Yeah, probably the Patriots. I mean, they had Bledsoe as their quarterback back then. I mean, it's Bledsoe versus Dilfer. I don't think yeah, it's Dilfer, Dilfer, but Bledsoe should win. 
The yeah. Patriots had just gone to the Super Bowl two years prior to this. So, yeah, the Patriots should win. You into any sports games, Jesse? Uh, I like Diddy Kong's racing. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Racing. That counts, right? That counts, yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm just looking for a few candidates for a few sports world records. That's all. I'll, I'll find somebody. Definitely. Yeah. Is there a curling video game? There's a curl. I actually, there's a curling PC game, and I okay. own it. Oh, you do? And we should put it in the database. We really should. We should. Because in Toronto, curling, I'm not joking, was on the entire time we were there. Yeah. Like, which is great, because me and Mike enjoy yeah. curling. So, but... Data God, yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Is it an older one, or is it a new game? Oh, uh, it's like midnight, 2000s or something. 2003, 2004. Oh, so it's relatively new. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it'll run on new computers very oh, okay. well. Well, that's we'll have that's, to boot up the old uh, we got 98 the old machine for. over here. Sweet. So curling, great game. Great game. Curling is well, pretty much like hardcore shuffleboard, right? Yeah. It's pretty is. much like how do we make shuffleboard harder? Two stones I, and put on ice and like yeah, you can fall. Cool. And you know, Thanks. shout outs to those guys with the brooms. Because they or work women. so hard to get that. They don't get all the glory. You know, I wonder if they even know that they're in a sport. If they're just like, just clean this. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, if you guys, has anyone on the show, me and Mike have actually gone curling before. It was what? pretty fun. Yeah, we did. It yeah. was awesome. There's a little curling club here in Detroit. Yep. They had an open day for anybody to come in. Normally, you got to pay dues to get your ice. It's very expensive here. In, oh, yeah. It's expensive because... There's not a lot of supply. There's, there's, <laughs> the stones are like so expensive. It, it, yeah, well, it's just there's not nobody playing curling here, so there's yeah, not yeah. enough curling centers. So the few who do play play in this one center. Or in Canada, I understand it's like bowling. Yes, that, that's like, what Mikey told us. Yeah, he just said I can go bowling wherever you want, you know, whatever. It's fun though. Yeah. And uh, data God, if you can, I mean, I probably will go to Canada again, but if you can bring me a bag of of ketchup chips. Yeah, why well, we did not see them. We oh, you did? I didn't look. I was him. looking. No, I looked for them. I couldn't find yeah, them. So please do. Fun. Um, anything else, Jesse? You had to ask us. You no, know, this is kind of weird. You're asking us, but uh, <laughs> we're kind of through the stuff a little quick today. I can come up with more questions. Okay. <laughs> Tons of more. Uh, uh, just uh, how many world records do y'all have? I don't even know. Nick's got one. Yeah, I was to say less than two. I think I'm like three thirty, but a lot of them I don't count as world records because it's the same game. Oh, you know it, what I'm saying? Oh, like guitar a rock band, rock band world band. record shouldn't count as one. What's, what's the other it ones? Is it like point pop three or something? You got some sonic ones, right? Yeah, that counts as one world record. Oh, okay. Yeah, but like, I submit fifty scores for Rock Band. That's still one world record, in my opinion. See, I, I, the way I think they should do that is you should have one record at the top that basically says most number of points in Rock Band, all songs. Yeah. And then boom, like that. That's how you determine it. They did that um, back in the day. Guitar Hero One. The oh, refs, really? whoever set that up, had their heads on right, and they had a career score, and you could still Sweet. submit. For all the individual ones, and actually they grandfathered it. Oh, do they? But now, for grand, yeah. now. <laughs> now it's ungrandfathered. Um, I think I think I'm, I might have it because I submitted the most. But you added all the scores up, and it, the career score. Yeah, that's the one I would no, care about more than cool. anything. That's very you know? cool. I, I would be if I mean that's going to be a year or two down the road, but uh, you know that that's how I feel. Don, what do you guys got, Don? I have, a, I have about 80, uh, something like 80, a little over 80. Jesse has, in case you're curious, 121. 121 wow. records since... He's got a lot of records. Holy mackerel, man. That's fantastic. And they're yeah. good. I mean, they're good records, too. It's not like, you know... It's not like, uh, you know, Muppets in Space kind of stuff. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey, now... <laughs> what? No, I'm not. Actually, I had that game. That's why I thought of it. But uh, it's not Cabbage oh, Patch Kids. How's that? Oh, that's a great game. Yeah. God. I don't. Okay, I can't. I can't name a game that someone's. In the, it's not Bert and Ernie count. Elmo teaches numbers. Like you know. <laughs> hey, Barney. Oh, hell speed yeah. run world record holder. <laughs> yeah, right here, baby. Barney, baby. No, hey, Cabbage Patch Kids. Seriously, pick up that Pico game. Is it really? really? I, just, Barney, I don't even know. It is. Yeah. <laughs> So, Jesse, uh, 
sorry, why why Nintendo and not say Atari or Intellivision uh, tournaments or arcade? Just is it because most you're familiar with the Nintendo or? I've never even played those. Oh, okay. The the like the oh, Intellivision oh. and the Atari. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, crap, if it wasn't for you, Mike, I would have never played in television. Well, because I hoard them. Yeah, you own all of them. In the maybe, maybe I'll send you one, Jesse. I'll send you or I'll bring one to California. He won't. Yeah, he'll bring them. <laughs> I'd like to, I'll bring one. Not that there's, they're having a tournament there with the television. <laughs> not really television. No, that's though. true. It's not. You're I right. I get the flashback. You're right. You're right. Actually, if you want, actually. You tele- can just go buy tele- one. Television's a lot of fun. You might want to spend time. I've seen them at some stores, the flashbacks. The Coleco's 30, 40 bucks? No, that's the retail price was 40 bucks. Oh, for I've cheaper? been seeing them lately at drugstores oh, okay. like uh, CVS or, you know, your Walgreens or whatever your pharmacy chain is. I've seen them for nine ninety nine. Are you kidding me? Of course, they didn't have any Coleco's because I didn't buy the Coleco one yet. Well, but the they had a bunch of Intellivision ones for nine ninety nine. Holy man. So, Keep out. I know the flashbacks. They literally can't give those away. People argue with me the flashbacks aren't true, but they're still, if you've never played in television or Coleco, they're great. Yeah, if you can't get your hands on them. a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun games for the value. That's cool. You just can't go wrong. That's very cool, man. Well, cool. I'm excited to actually everybody in the chat except Glenn. So... (laughs) What? I'm excited what? to see everybody in the chat. You're not going, right, Glenn? Or are no. you going? Are you surprising no. me too? Okay. How many no, world records? Can't. Me? Like I, yeah. I've only submitted three of my scores to Twin Galaxies, but I have a lot more than that. Yeah. Like, submission. You can find some of them. Oh. Yeah, you can find some of them on Twitch, YouTube, scattered Glenn, throughout like- various scoreboards. Glendo.com. Real player. Real player. I know you, yeah. you were big in the real player. I know that. Yeah, back in 1998. Yeah, and uh, Joe, how many world records do you yeah. have? Wow. Wow. We actually can't hear Joe. I think you guys can hear him. I can't hear him. He I has 180. 180. Oh. Well, we'll hear him next week because he's going to be on our show next week before yeah. the big, the whole hoopla of the Twin Galaxies Festival getting prepped for that show. And then we'll be back for one week. We will. And then we'll be talking about the video game championship we the following will. week. Yes. And then the video Which game is championship. A month away, less than a month away. Yeah, the video game championship will be yeah. happening right here in the studio in a month from today, too. So a lot of stuff thing. here on Settle It on the Screen. So uh, we got a few minutes left. So thank you, Jesse, for coming on the show. Yeah, I'm um, excited to see you. Uh, play uh, and more importantly, like I said, what Don said last week, all these events, yeah, we all come to play video games and compete, but the fun part is meeting everybody in person and oh god, yeah, absolutely. Stories. So I'm excited yeah. to meet you, Don, Joe, and meeting Rudy Ferretti for the first time. I'm ex- kind of oh, you never met Rudy? Never met Rudy. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. assumed I've met and everybody else. Even I've met well, Rudy. I can't, I can't wait to see Todd Rogers. I just love sitting. I love talking with that guy. That guy's so much fun. So uh, for those of you staying tuned to the show, um, State of the Galaxies, if you missed it last week and you don't want to watch it on YouTube and you want to chat with other people, it's coming up next. Replay's coming up here at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern or 7 p.m. on the Pacific side. Yeah, so if you get mad about him not responding to your questions, (laughs) it's because it's... It's because he hates you. It's the (laughs) the only thing that's not... Well, I don't say... It's not live this week. Most stuff on this channel is live. Yes, but it's that's about the only thing, really. They're it's probably getting ready for the tournament, the is my day. guess. I'm talking about nighttime. Nighttime. So. Yeah, nighttime. Yeah. We're all working during the day. That's true. Well, not everybody. That's true. I guess Chase people, works, though. No, that's true. Midnight hour. Some people work all the time, or some people work at night. Yeah, that's true. We're going to, you know, we have a minute left, so we can talk about the mundanities of people's lives you know and then when someone's eating meals yeah like breakfast lunch or dinner maybe yeah which is the one at night so